was one of five witnesses who testified today. News 19's Rachel Rip joins us in studio now to break down what the others had to say in court. Rachel. Well, Darcy, today witness testimony was focused on Alec Murdoch's financial situation, what it was like to work for the Murdoch family and cell phone location data surrounding the Murdoch family phones. Now, the morning picked up with testimony from lawyer Mark Tinsley. He was the first on the stand. He's representing the family of Mallory Beach in their civil lawsuit against Alec Murdoch in the boat case involving Paul Murdoch. He testified that the day of the murders of Maggie and Paul, he got a phone call and that on the day after June 8th, 2021, he received word from other lawyers in the boat case that they were shocked and that the motions hearing would not go forward. Now, following lunch, the jury heard from Belinda Rast. She's a certified nursing assistant and caregiver for Libby Murdoch. That's Alex's mother who had Alzheimer's. As it progresses, they get more like a baby. You know, if you wake them, sometimes they'll go back to sleep. Sometimes they cry. What would you prefer as her as her provider, health care provider? To let her sleep. But if a family comes by and they say they want to wake her, I don't object. I let them wake her. Now, she testified that the night of the murders, the other caregiver for Miss Libby, Michelle Smith, wanted to swap shifts with her. So Smith worked the evening shift from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. on June 7th, 2021. Rass said Alec didn't visit his mother often during the evening shift, maybe a total of six or seven times over her four years working there. Now, later in the afternoon, Matthew Wild with the FBI took the stand. He specializes in cell phone location data. Wild testified he was assigned to review records of Alec, Maggie, Paul, and others. He testified that Paul's phone was at the dog kennels at Moselle between 844 and 1018 p.m., the location where Paul died. Wild added that Alec's phone was at Moselle between 640 and 918 p.m., and then moved close to Almeida between 920 and 946 p.m. Now, Nathan Tootin, he was the last one on the stand this afternoon. He was a close friend of Paul's and patrol officer with the Walterboro Police Department. He testified that he was also a runner for court documents at Murdoch's law firm and that the Murdoch Tan 300 blackout rifle was stolen in nearly in early 2018 at a party. Now, court resumes at 930 Monday morning. Reporting live in studio, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. All right, thank you so much, Rachel. And we're going to continue to have full coverage of the trial online. You can watch us so many different ways. Go to WLTX Plus. That's our app. You can go to WLTX on YouTube or WLTX.com.